So it's been about three weeks since I washed my hair and it is crunchy. It is just rough and dirty. So I'm gonna show you guys how I wash, moisturize and seal my hair. So let's get started. What you're gonna need is um, a conditioner, a shampoo, some type of leave-in conditioner and an oil of your choice, of course. And the comb is optional. I don't use this very often. It's just there if I'm having a little bit of trouble with um, finger detangling, but I actually prefer not to use one. And actually, you ended up using a different can too. You're also gonna need four of these scrunchy thingies to section off your hair. So right now, I'm just sectioning off my hair into four parts. I know with it being sped up, it looks like I'm just yanking and yanking, but I'm actually being very gentle. I do not like to hear any snap crackling or popping. If you hear a snap crackling and popping, you're doing something wrong, okay? Be gentle with your hair. So now that everything is all sectioned off, I'm getting ready to go ahead and go under the sink and begin to wet the hair. Hold up. So this is, wait, that is wrong. No, that's right, okay, so yeah. What I'm, what I'm doing right here is shampooing and um, scratching out any, cause sometimes you get a lot of product buildup so you have to scratch it out cause it can get kind of waxy. And the reason my shampoo bottle is so small is because most of the time I don't even use shampoo. Um, I'll use apple cider. A little bit. I'll use apple cider vinegar and baking soda to wash my hair. But I, like I said, it, it's been about three weeks, so the product buildup is way too much for apple cider vinegar and baking soda. So I have to use a shampoo right now. So um, I do it section by section. So after I shampoo one section, I go ahead and slap in the conditioner for that same section. And I just go all the way around doing the same thing. And when I am done with the top, I go ahead and I do the back and the bottom because that hair is actually like looser. So it's easier. So I like to go ahead and get the tough, rough stuff out of the way first because my the hair in the front of my hair is way thicker and it feels like a tighter curl. So I'll just go ahead and detangle that first and then I just slap in the conditioner and I just repeat. If you notice, I use a very generous amount. So do not be stingy with the conditioner. And all I'm doing here is just um, section it into smaller sections to make the twist. You don't have to do this, but I just like to.
And all I'm doing here is just repeating the same process. This is shampoo and I'm about to rinse this out and slap in some conditioner. I just wanna give a round of applause to my husband, the cameraman. Everybody give him a round of applause, everybody. Thank you so much, yay. And we're back, that's enough. Same process, just on the back, I'm just showing you how I put the top up in a bun so I don't make the mistake of rinsing out anything in the front. So right now I'm taking off my makeshift um, shower cap. Yes, I said it. Just, I, I think I was under that shower cap for about 30, 45 minutes. I like a little deep conditioning going on, taking it off, taking it down. And I'm about to rinse this in cold water. Note the water is cold. So right now, all I'm doing is taking a towel and I'm getting a lot of the excess water out because I don't wanna put my leave-in conditioner in and it takes forever for my hair to dry because what I'm actually doing is prepping my hair to wear wigs for this week. That's my protective style for this week. I'm gonna be wearing wigs. So I need it to be, you know, not all the way dry, but dry enough so that when I put in this Cantu, and this isn't the bottle Cantu, this is a leave-in conditioner in the jar, I don't have to worry about my braids having loads and loads of water and product in it and getting stinky over time because I will be working out about five I think five or six days this week so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just putting in the conditioner And this is the oil that I'll be using. This is Wild Growth, a light oil. Um, it has about seven or eight different oils in it. Um, it was about, I think, $8.99 or $7.99 at my local beauty supply store. And I love this oil. I swear it has helped my hair grow back so fast from my second big chop because I've been natural for five years and I cut all my hair off last year. So yes, what you're looking at is actually a year of growth with this and can too and protective styling. Basically just putting this on top of the conditioner to seal it in so my hair you know retains that moisture because my hair I got hungry hair okay my hair is gonna eat this actually I did this what yesterday and I need to put some more oil in my hair right now because it's so hungry. Just want to say thank you guys for watching if you like this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you really like this video go ahead and comment with the little girl who's flipping her hair so i know to do some more of these natural hair videos for you guys i will see y'all next time hope you had a merry christmas and a very happy new year